Hello everybody and welcome along to a first of a first look for myself, Simulation for the Nation here. Uh, we are doing our first look of a FS19 map and it is the first true FS19 British map. There have been a few conversions, uh, but this is Sutton Farm, a map made by WBF. It is now available for download from fsuk.com, so do make sure you go over there and download it on PCs at the moment. Uh, so before we get into this a little bit about the map, uh, this is Sutton Farm based in Suffolk in the United Kingdom. Uh, Sutton Farm is based on a real location in the county of Suffolk. Uh, the map is a two time full scale map and has a huge amount of woodland which brings an, it a natural feel. Uh, it also includes a very large outdoor pig unit which is able to hold 1200 pigs. It's made up of four different pig paddocks which are, each have their own water, food, straw, slurry and manure points which I think is a, a great little idea. Uh, and each pig, pi pig paddock is able to hold up to 300 pigs, so that's a heck of a lot of pigs. Um, the map includes a grain cell point, a BGA, one vehicle shop, a general shop, uh, all the necessary livestock buy and sell points, uh, two, multiple farms and a lot lot more that we're going to get into just about now. So as you see we are, we start right here, this is the main yard here and what's going to be interesting to see is what all these buildings look like. Uh, WBF has worked hard to get this all up and running and it looks like we're going to have quite a nice array of starting equipment as well. So we're going to have a look around. Uh, now a lot of this equipment or a lot of these buildings we may see, they do look familiar. Uh, it looks like they may be brought across from different maps. Uh, this looks a bit like an Oakfield uh, building, I must admit. Um, but yeah, it's a great to see a, a well-made British map. That's what we're really looking forward to here. So we have the John Deere, that's the 6135M. We've got the Voucher as well, so a nice little selection. Some good looking buildings. Uh, again, this nice little cold storage unit from Oakfield. Uh, and it just looks really well made, really well put together. Uh, before we go too much further as well, uh, we will have a look and see what's going on with our map. So I'm gonna bring this back. Let's go up to here. So this is our, this is our map area. As you can see, it does look pretty darn good. Uh, so we, it's, it's starting to look like a real British map in terms of the field shapes and sizes are all, and all varied, which is fantastic to see. Uh, but yeah, we do have an awful lot of different features on the map. We start in the kind of northwest corner of the main yard there. Now there is another yard which I would suggest is probably around field number 10. Uh, but we're going to get down to that in a moment. And then you can see this is the large pig paddock here with the four different sections. And it looks like our store is down there as well. Now this is the first time I have been in here, so it's going to be interesting to see how it uh, all looks. This is my kind of live reaction, if you feel. Um, but yeah, a nice looking yard actually to begin with. A lot of, um, a nice hybrid of new buildings, old buildings, uh, with some like kind of clutter and uh, overgrown areas as well, which is always a good kind of balance really. It's something that always looks very good when it's put together. Uh, this is our little road. What I think we'll do, we're gonna see what other equipment is around here. We may end up just taking the John Deere for a stroll uh, and we'll see, but let's first of all just see what we have in here. Great storage. Let's skip over here. Maybe it's that bit in there. More storage. Uh, excellent. So yeah, I like this. I like the fact there's a lot of different storage points on here. I do really think that's quite nice. There is that like a little silage plant we can use? Or is that just a storage bear? Just a storage bear. Cool. Uh, and so let's take the the upgrade to the Valtra. I've never been in this machine yet. All right. So as we saw that as we flick through, we do have some other equipment. Let's just have a bit of a spiral around. We're going to stay in third person so we can make the most of this and to see what everything is. Uh, and what I think we'll do as well, we'll just keep this nearby so we can have an idea of where we need to go. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful yard, some nice uh, farmhouses there to boot, and then a little bit of equipment parked at the side. So we've got our five for a plow and the Agrimaz discs. Nice little farm track up there. It's a good looking little stream as well. I always like this, ever since kind of uh, Thornton Farm, I've always enjoyed having a little stream there. But that looks pretty darn good. And away we go. So we're going to take a little bit of a a little bit of a drive, let's stay up. Immediately what you can see is we've got some great, just different field shapes. It's nice to have unique field shapes. I really can't stress that enough. Uh, and we'll go this way. Uh oh, get over the road, get over the road, there we go. 
So we're going to head down, you can see there's kind of one main road splitting through the map, uh, that there is a little side road, so we'll take this down first, because we're going to go see what's down on offer at the shop, I think. Uh, see if we can find anything interesting down the other way. Uh, huge field of sunflowers on our left, huge field of maize on our right, I believe. Nice to see that there's actually cars on this lane as well. In fact... Uh oh. Uh, I'm going to have to bail off the road here and let this car come past. What will be interesting to see is this how this, if it stops when it sees me there. No? Excellent. I kind of like the fact that there are cars coming on this small lane. It will make it tricky at times, I'm sure, but you know, it's... I think it's pretty cool that they're there. I mean, there are a lot of them. But uh, yeah, it's nice to see them on the smaller roads. Quite often you don't get that, so that's always quite nice. Makes me kind of think that I'm going against the grain of the traffic here. But yeah, I like the there's a little detail on the terrain here as well. I think that looks really good. I think it's just like nice little wet ground there. Uh, it's always very nice. Uh, we'll jump back into here. Before we go too far as well, do we have contracts available? We do, so contracts and missions are working on the map there, which is always good. A nice revenue stream for anyone who's looking to get going. Um, so of course we have started this on the new farm mode, so we get an idea of exactly all of the uh, equipment and the uh, what the, all the buildings look like as well. Uh, but we're going to have to fling ourselves into the hedge again. Can I drive through the hedges? Yes. You see, that's always important. Everyone likes to be able to drive through a hedge. So it's a bit of a feral way down here, but it's a nice little twisty narrow lane. A lot of people will like that and really enjoy uh, driving around with that. I see that we do look like we've got a little wooden track or muddy track coming through here, which is good. Uh, so we can avoid all the cars at times. If we're going, particularly if we're heading east over towards the grain elevator, uh, then we will need that. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little way down here. And uh, in we go. I believe that would be the animal dealer. Let's just go and have a look here. Which it is, yeah. Excellent. So that's our animal dealer. I got fast walking on, so I am flying around when I get out. And then finally the store way down the bottom. A very typical looking store here. Actually, it's looking pretty cool. So if I... If I just swing into here. Looks like... What have we got here then? We got we can sell our wool, uh, wood chips, uh, we've got a seed point, uh, I'd assume they are fertilizer points. Yes. Good stuff. Excellent. Always handy to know where all that kind of stuff is there. We're gonna try and take a little bit of an off-road on the way back up there. You can see there's a huge grass wooded well, I suppose that is the wooded area uh to the east of me here, so that if you are a fan of forestry, you can knock your heart out there. That will be fantastic. Keep cutting down trees till your heart's content. Uh, but what's good to see is the varying size of fields as well. I think that's fantastic. It's a really key benefit. Um, nice to get that variation. So you can really mix up the sizes of your equipment when necessary. Uh, now when we get to the core, the left hand turn up ahead, we are gonna go um, to the right. And we're going to head up across through field 20 and then around the back of 14, I think. So we're going to shoot up here. I think with the light in here as well, it really does look brilliant. Very, very impressed with all of this. Uh, and what I would say is WBF has been working on this in conjunction with several people. Um, he has... On the uh, on FS UK, he has credited um, not only himself, he's put in a lot of help from a lot of people here. Uh, so, just to give them an honourable shout out as I trample over the maze. Uh, he would like to thank WBF, of course, himself, Giants, Robbie Pretorius, and Oxford David. So, there's been a lot of help on this, and you can really see it does look brilliant for it. Uh, very, very good looking map. Reminds me a little bit of Dustin Farm, for those of you who played in FS15. Uh, kind of has that open feel. Uh, but at the same time, they cook a lot of attention to detail to make it look. Uh, look realistic there as well which is always the difficult balance to try and maintain nice little bit of grass inside there as well uh, no, let me see if we just stop for a second we're going to go back to the back to land let's see how some of our fields are looking so you start with owning actually 
uh, quite a few parcels of land here. So you've got 16, 17, 15. You want that massive uh, big paddock in the middle and six and seven. If we click on say 14, uh, that's gonna be 2.3 million. Wow, but then look at the size of it, it's huge. So then you're really monstrous because the, I mean, that, these are big parcels of land. So you've got to really work up to, to buy something big there, which is a good kind of stepping stone, I think. I'm really quite impressed with that. Uh, it gives you something, some kind of encouragement to work up to when you've got to go big and spend big. So that's a nice uh, kind of nice drive. Oh, that's some bird sounds coming through there. That's pretty cool. And then that's a little path into a farmhouse. That's looking rather nice. Make sure nothing's coming. Oh, there is, but we're going for it. We're away. British traffic as well, it's worth pointing out. Driving on the right side of the road, which is always, well, the right side for British users, always a nice feature. Um, but yeah, I just, I, part of this reminds me of Chellington as well, actually. Uh, I don't know why, uh, this road in particular does, but it's, um, yeah, there we go. But I do really kind of like it. Areas of Suffolk, for those of you who have not been to it, can be notoriously flat as well. Um, so it's very representative of the area. Uh, we're going to follow this road around as it bends around the corner. Um, as we bring this up, key things to notice, it depends upon where you want to start. If you start the main yard there, it is quite a long haul down to the grain elevator. So that's something that you'd have to bear in mind uh, whenever you do attempt to take on any harvest work. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, uh, when uh, when course play comes into effect, that'll be a huge saviour because you'll be able to set up a nice course to cart grain for you. It just feels feels like a good map there, it really does. Uh, for those of you who watch on my channel frequently, we have been playing on Riverview and the one thing that was missing in my mind was a good road setup. Uh, we've got that now, it looks like, and it's really a nice one to have. Uh, oh, this is a nice little barn now. Now I like this. There was the combine that we switched to earlier by mistake, the new, the Massey. Uh, this is great because it's not huge, but it's a nice little starting yard. The storage shed. Mm, no, this is good. Anything else in here hiding? Negative. And then like a kind of a stack yard around the back with a nice Vardestad drill. I like this a lot. Uh, I really do like this little bar. Nothing too big, nothing too extravagant, but everything you need. Ooh, a nice uneven terrain there. That looks great. Fantastic. Now what I will say is when you download this game, it may be a little bit different to what you're experiencing here. The main reason for that being that I am using the Forgotten Plants textures. Uh, recently installed so I may have a little bit of a different look but uh, aside from that everything else in terms of the terrain will be the same this is gonna be our grain store up here it's gonna have a wander what's good is we are starting on new farmer modes so we have a very a variety of crops some are planted some aren't uh, this looks like our BJ down here uh, and the grain elevator as well so a two for one Huge, huge pits. Look at the size of those clamps. Oh, now that's a nice touch. I like that a lot. That's a really nice little uh, model to put in there. There's a woodpecker here. Yeah, I like having a half used, half consumed salvage pit in there. That's a very good idea. There's a few little buildings. Where do we drop the grain off then? Is it there? It must be there. Excellent stuff. Good looking building. Good looking little setup there. I'm not paying attention. I'm crashing everywhere. Okay, and so away we go. We are going to spin around down to the left and then we're going to. I want to go and have a look at this um, pig pen. And we're going to go straight over the road here. We'll have a look down the pig pen, head towards the lake, and then try and cut back around. A lot of this map is going to be a lot of just finding out for yourself, looking at the terrain, really, I think. It is in great condition. I think it looks fantastic myself. Really do like this. And, uh, yeah, we will um, we will definitely be doing a series on this one. I'm going to look forward to starting something up as soon as possible here. So keep an eye out for that one. 
and um, I'm going to try and put some ideas together and um, see what we can come up. So if you do have any suggestions for any uh, characters or role plays, I'll always take those into consideration, so do drop them in the comments down below. And we'll see what we're going to do. I went the wrong way to what I was suggesting. Shoot. Um, don't mind me. There we go. This is a huge field. How big does this one say it is? Look at the size of field nine, everybody. Good Lord. So if I click on that. Ooh, 2.7 million. I have 100,000. Don't think I've got enough there. All right. Wow, look at this pig yard. This is incredible stuff down here. Really nice idea to make something like this. Obviously, if it's if it's uh, something that is in that area, then it's yeah, it's something that, of course, you want to try and replicate. Now we're just going to squeeze through the bushes. Another huge forestry area that I can only imagine uh, you're able to harvest. Look at that. Whoosh. That's a lot of pigs. Quite interesting to see how that all sets up, actually. Maybe we'll have to look into that. Ooh, I like the... I like the lot. That was a nice little dip there. He's done a great job here. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Nice unevenness there. Um, what else have we got here? A nice looking lake as well. Hey, this is a great looking map. It really is. Nice phone mast there. You don't often see a lot of those around. That's a great little model. And then, so as the the forward said on the description, as we bounce along the little rough terrain here. Also, look at the suspension work. Just fantastic. We've got our water trough for each and every one. We've got the muck shed on, or the uh, um, the pit for the muck on here. I just think this is a great idea. Very well thought out. Can't have been easy to set up either. Glorious stuff. Excellent stuff. Well, what we're going to be looking to do, we are going to have a drive back through. I'll bring this up here. We're just going to follow this road up back in between 13 and 14 to get ourselves back towards the yard there, and we will be done. Uh, like I say, this is out and available for download from uh, fsuk.com. If you have yet to go and check out that website, of course, do go over there, sign up, uh, become a member, download the map, and do rate it. Give it your full um, ratings. Uh, let's help out WBF here as much as possible, because I think he's put a lot of work into this, and it is truly a great map, and deserves the recognition for it. Uh, and we will be getting ourselves up and running on this in the coming days, so do keep an eye out for that. Um, even little, like, just a attention to detail to the field dividers I think is very nice uh, but yeah I can't wait to see what this is like when the sun sets and to see the light across the, the farmland that'd be great uh, but we will get back up to the yard there and we're going to get some uh, ideas drawn up and see where we can go so at this stage I'm going to leave it here thank you ever so much for watching I do hope you have enjoyed if you have don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to Simulation for the Nation but most importantly Head across to FSUK and download this map. I think it's very much going to be worth it. And we will see you in the next one. So until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. But most importantly, happy farming.